Watch, th watch this. He's attack rounding. He knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. Oh, he came out, buddy. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Helping Hands here. And today I'm bringing you a deep dive on the new DAC battle group, Espionage. We'll be looking at the Funk Panzer Wagon as well as the Goliath. And we'll be testing their abilities out and seeing what works. Uh, maybe what's weak and what's strong. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's go straight into the battle field espionage battle group and we'll go straight with the Funk Panzer. Wagon. Here it comes. So, from my understanding, the 250 can upgrade to the Funk Panzer Wagon. And it currently appears to be completely free. Which is interesting. I thought it'd cost some resources to be able to upgrade it to the Funk Panzer Wazen, or maybe an armory upgrade, but no. Any any point, you can change your 250 straight into the Funk Panzer. So that doesn't mean you have to call one in, which costs 220. So it's a little bit cheaper calling it in than um, your standard 250. So coordinate ambush operations, camouflage the infantry units that are not in combat, including vehicles. Camouflage. Um, Infantry and team weapon units gain first strike bonuses when attacking from camouflage. The Funk Panzer does not camouflage itself when the ability is active. 25% extra damage and 40% accuracy when firing from camouflage for 5 seconds. Reduces the speed. So if I activate that, that has now made my 250 and my Pioneer's camouflage. But as soon as I leave the zone, they become vision... But they still benefit from that um, 5 second... First strike bonus, which I imagine that's what the uh, the ability there is. But that cloak could be quite very sneaky, actually. Like you could hide in the corner. Let's say you overextend, but you you know, but you know your opponent's coming for you on a big map like this. You could maybe hide in the corner, activate that, and have everybody on hold fire. But the issue here is that not every unit has hold fire on them. So this pioneer squad has not got hold fire. So as soon as any enemy enemy comes in in contact, they'll shoot it regardless, which is a shame. I feel like. With the introduction of this unit, it feels like every unit the DAC has should have the option to hold fire. I mean, I think every unit in the game period should have the option to hold fire or turn on hold fire. Combined arms and first strike share the buff icon. Oh, do they? Right. Well, that's not good. Um, does this ability include every vehicle? Let's just throw in... Uh, let's see what else we've got here. So, Tiger Tank. Does the Tiger Tank camo? It does as well. Holy shit. So, this is without the, uh, the Operation Scorpion thing. And the tiger, thankfully, has got hold fire, so he can just like be chilling here, waiting for something to go to get too close to it, and then it can shoot. Can it camouflage allies? Good question. Good question. Let's spawn in a um, a friendly armor vehicle. Doesn't look like it. Oh, they're not benefiting from the uh, Panzer wagon by looks of it. No, so it doesn't look like friendlies are benefiting from it. But every kind of vehicle here can benefit from it. Thing is, they've got. It looks like they've got this hold fire symbol on anyway. Like, I need to test something real quick. Let me just move them to the bit further forward outside the base sector real quick. Oh my god, they stay camouflaged. If they, yo, you can move your whole army across the map camouflaged if you keep it in 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 the, in the radius of this. You know, apart from obviously the fu the Funk Panzer wagon still revealed itself, but you can move your whole kind of army camouflaged across the map wherever you want to go. That's insane. That's really crazy. Okay, so let me, let's just test something here. Let's spawn in an American, I don't know, whatever, rifleman here. Will my guys instantly shoot? No, they won't. So that's good. It seems like they have an automatic hold, hold fire thing on. So, we're 100% in range, but they're automatically on toggle hold fire. But if I decide to shoot with you, reveals this guy. Now, if I try and run away, how long will it take me for me to re-camouflage back in? Okay, not that so long. What if I do attack move? Will they, will they shoot? Yeah, they will. Okay, so attack move will automatically get them to fire. But if you just issue a move command underneath the, the circumference of this, they won't fire, which is nice. That's good. It's a good change. Damn, that's really strong. It's like the tiger automatically can because it takes such a long time for it to fire again. It kind of camouflaged for a split second afterwards, which is weird, even though it was revealed. Hmm. 
Will double funk wag wagon camouflage each other? I don't think so, but we could try that real quick. I think they probably Relic would have probably accounted for that. No, so they, they won't they won't um camouflage each other by the looks of it, yeah. Okay. What oh this ability needs to be active, so this one's active as well, right? Okay. But if I disable it, they'll all just get revealed. Tiger won't shoot, because I had it on whole fire automatically anyway. There's a little bit of a 10 second cooldown maybe on it as well. It doesn't look like we need any vacancy requirements to be able to build the Goliath. The Looks like we can build the Goliath any point around it, which is nice. If we've got a, the vehicle doesn't need to turn or do anything special to be able to lay the Goliath. Just builds it wherever where you want it. Vehicle deploying as ordered. Very quiet. Normally it would have a bit more of a noise. Oh, I'll just turn my music off just so if I can hear the, the, the Goliath moving. It's so quiet. Has a distinctive no noise, but it's very quiet. It's much quieter than the Goliath, I, th I imagine, in Company Heroes 2. And it could be really overshadowed by other engine noises and stuff. I do wonder if you can hear it through the fog of war. What's its armor? It's not show, show, showing me how much health it's got, which is a shame. When you click on another bit, thing, it shows you here an armor. When I click over the portrait, it's not giving me anything, which is annoying. Um, so we've got comply, then I've got auto detonate on. Toggles the setting of the glass automatically detonate when it's close to an enemy unit without requiring manual command. That's new. Wow, that's that makes it become like an, uh, a mine, so you haven't got to actually check it, which is quite strong. You're also saying, can I cloak my own Goliaths? Oh my god. I can move while cloaked. Boys, <laughs> I'm expecting some meme potential here, I'll tell you that much. Hang on, hang on. Let's make loads of Goliaths real quick. You just see like a 250? So what you'll see guys is you'll see like um, this Funk Panzer just driving towards the front line, right? And you'll be like, oh, why is it on its own? And then you'll just suddenly get blown up, you know, but you just drive, I'll just drive forward. Hang on, which one is, is this one? It's got like an 80 second cooldown, something like that. But I'll be doing this, I'll be driving forward, it'll be like, oh, it's only, you know, only a 250, and then suddenly three Goliaths out of nowhere. Let's drive in. They're like, oh shit, Goliaths! Boosh! Oh, well, that explosion's really shit. Oh, that's such a shit noise for the Goliath explosion, man. What the fuck? Honestly, man, the Reddit really need to fix the audio in this game, man. Well, the rifle squad was bunched up, right? So, uh, we're, we're, sorry, we're spread out. If any unit was clumped up, it'd wipe it, right? So if I got a ranger squad, let's just showcase what ranger squad. Hey, that's us, fellas. Can't stand around all day. If I time it right. We are taking casualties. So, not a great hit, but it's wounded them quite significantly. Uh, but if we had them clumped up or something, or we had them retreating, anyway, we did honestly go out the retreat path. That might be useful. Uh, right, Rangers. Let's see, will I damn it, blow them up in the building here? Hmm. Not that great. Hello! Okay, well, it also put on engine damage. So it acted kind of like a mine as well. Yes, smoke. That now costs 25 munitions to, to use. They've got 280 health. If I go for uh, that. I should increase the health even more. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's still so the Funk Panzer wagon gets more, you know, gets the extra health. 360, how does that compare to a standard 250 half track? Real quick, let's throw a standard 250 down. It's exactly the same. 360, 360, so exactly the same health. It does benefit from the heal. Um, right, we've got Shoe Mine and Tanner Mines, which we've got available there as well. And then the veteran seat, let's uh, buff it up with veteran seat. It can have munitions delivery, which is kind of cool. 
So when it's veteran C, it should say something here. Allows you to slowly generate munitions over time. Uh, and how does that work then? Unit generates five munitions every 60 seconds. Okay, what, just naturally? Or does it need to be an munitions point? Reduce the cost of Goliath. And munitions generated. So right now it's five munitions. So if I level it up. Uh, selection. Ten. Okay. And the minute Goliath was 100, now it's 80. Okay, so Goliath's a little bit cheaper. And then level 3, increase the range of coordinated fire ambush. Right, let's put both these guys together. So its range is up to about there. We have one more veteran C, and then boom! That's a lot further. That's a huge amount of range. We're from about the edge of there all the way up to there. Increases the munitions generated per minute as well. So it goes up to 16. So it went 5, 10, 16. Wow. I mean, just having a few of the... Like, converting all your useless 250s into the late game into just the Funk Pans wagons. you still got to try and... Think, and I think they gain shared veteran C, so you've got to come, somehow keep them in a bit of the fight. But if you can get them to veteran C3, you could... You know, that's a lot of nice munitions, though. Yeah, it's like a, it's a lot of having an extra large munitions point on the map, and that allows you to constantly keep spamming more Goliaths or any kind of abilities, all these expensive mines. That actually passive munitions is really nice. Okay, and then yeah, it's just the mines there. Okay, I didn't realize. I thought it would only cut uh, camouflage infantry. I didn't realize it would like camouflage tanks and stuff as well. That's going to be so strong. Okay. Let's go over to, uh, I think we already saw this, anti-tank incendiary munitions. We'll just quickly go over this. Is that to the, does that also apply to the 88? Anti-tank deals 50% more damage and anti-tank guns hit deal burn damage. Damage over time cannot kill targets. Okay, well let's throw in an 88. Oh well, I could tarp an 88. I, I could creep my 88 up. Into a really dangerous spot. Unpack it. Alright. <laughs> and then let's say, I don't know, what, what are we going to be up against? Uh, Black Prince or something? Crew here. Okay, so this thing shot straight away, even though I didn't tell it to. Is it benefiting from the flame damage? Yeah, it is. There you go. See the bit of the flame extra damage there? Two shots, three. But yeah, this should have not... I didn't tell this to fire and instantly shot that tank. Whereas the Tiger didn't shoot the enemy tank. Hang on, let me just uh, let me put you on hold fire. Will the Tiger automatically shoot enemy tank here? Is that a bug? See, the Tiger doesn't shoot, but the AEA with hold fire off, he'll just shoot regardless. Interesting, the machine gun guy shot first before the Tiger. Well, I'm noticing on the top right as well, there's a big kind of like different UI visual thing that shows up there to show that the uh, the unit's getting veteran as well, which is quite nice. Okay, okay. Target engine as well, that's an old ability though. So that's that ability there. Now we've got Operation we have a new ability. Scorpion. Vehicles are camouflaged, but move 35% slower when camouflaged. When revealed, gain 20% rate of fire and for 15 seconds, friendly vehicles refund 25% of their cost on death as well? Huh. Last 30 seconds. Confirming order. That shows you how long it takes. Watch for ambush. Acknowledged. 150 munitions for it though. Yellow. But does the enemy see the tire tracks in the ground, right? That's what I want to see. I want to be. I want to know if, if the enemy can see the tire tracks and the kick up of dust and dirt when it's moving around. Quickly here, reset battle group. Let's go and try that ability. So this improves the first strike ambush accuracy. Of it goes from forty to fifty, and twenty-five to thirty-five. And the duration is increased by five percent. It seems like this is a passive, right? Yeah, it's just a standard passive. So. When you're utilizing the, the um, I guess, the Scorpion ability as well as your uh, coordinate ambush operations with these guys, then your units of infantry will just do more damage in general. I don't think we really need to test that. It's just kind of obvious that, which is cool. Uh, right then, we've got the Intel Disruption. Enables Panzer Pioneers, Panzer Grens, 
and funk panzers to construct intel destruction beacons. Intel destruction beacons, camouflage, infantry, and team weapon units. Detects nearby enemy units on mini-map, and enemy units and enemies are warned when near a beacon. Ability unlocked and available. So there it is, 75 manpower. What do you need? The Kriegs that has a really big... Now, huh? Big uh, animation for that. So I don't think it probably needs to take up such a huge portion of the map in terms of its ability. Have we have Radio answer. signal, whatever you want to call it, it's quite big. Um, but that's what that does. That can, so let's move these guys away. Let's turn this ability off. So this camouflage nearby units. And then we, if I turn Fog of War off, uh, on rather. Let's go find some trouble. Believe it, we'll lose the camouflage. We get revealed yet. Team up and so does that include let's see the pack gun? Yeah, that's invisible. LEIG. And the 88 as well, because I've turned it off. So the 88 gets invisible as well. Uh motorcycle probably won't yet. Okay. Sader there, and then sensor here. We'll make them all enemy. Okay, then get tactical map so we can see on the map and we know exactly what they are as well. If I was to turn on, make sure the fog of war's off. Just lose vision of that. Okay, we don't know what they are, but we know there's something on the mini map there. It doesn't actually, it's unlike the tractor where you can tell if it's a, a vehicle or an infantry, you just know some enemies that are in the area. Not as good as the DAC thing. Panzer Pioneer, that's a shame. Make it quick. But these guys could move up the spot. The Kriegsmarine is looking like a sweet deal. Also, now, there's huh? this icon on here. I want it so the, the enemy player will know that they've been revealed by it. Which is interesting. Now we've got plunder. Well, oh, we'll go to the left side tree. We'll go plunder. So this is a passive that will just be able to get all these things. All right, so these guys, if I press E and then. If we can use it, so we'll we plunder it. this wreck. Can we plunder while being camouflaged? That's an interesting question, actually. Oh, or will we reveal oh, ourselves? No. So we can sneakily do this. If we if we if we're uh, underneath this thing here, or I guess underneath the vision of a, pa a Panzer wagon as well. And then what do I get? So we picked up a bar there, yeah. Let's delete this. Activate this. Boys, we have movement orders. Get in gear. We have a heading. Make it take anything of value. Yeah, they can just do all the tasks. I guess I could be laying mines and stuff and doing all types of things as well under the camouflage. I won't get revealed. It's pretty sweet. So we got a bar from that one. This time we picked up another bar. So we've got two bars on this uh, Panzer Pioneer squad. Nice. I can't. Can I do it again? Guys, open weapon slots, right. So, I guess then if we get out, let's try some other units here. So, it did say here, Panzer Jaegers, Panzer Pioneers Assault Grin. Yeah, so this is my standard infantry, right? So, we'll get you to salvage that. These guys will get access to Thompsons or SDGs. No, no, not, uh, sorry, Bar or Breda. Panzer Grenadiers have completed the task. There we go. Very nice. And they should still be able to uh, get their machine gun as well. So they can get their machine gun, but they can't do it again. It's a shame you can't keep doing it and then the weapon drops on the ground so you can't pick it up to give it to your teammate. That would be quite nice. I would like that to be a feature for this. Maybe you can, could not equip it yourself, but the weapon just appears on the ground and you, you know, a teammate can come along and equip it with something. That would might be, be, be a bit too strong, but that would, would be cool. Order's completed. So he's got a Thompson now. We have the and what did you pick up? A bazooka? So he's got bazooka and two AT rifles. they got no weapon slots. You guys still do. Right, did you only pick up one weapon? Do assault grants only have one weapon slot? Here's that's the case. They get two Thompsons. Did you see two Thompsons? Yes, there's got one guy over there, one guy over there. Good 
Let's see, so even with your own. So we got SDGs here because that was a friendly vehicle. Did you pick up one or two? Two. So this guy's got two SDGs now instead. Okay, double SDG. So it seems like you get one, and these guys can't grab any more. They get the one bazooka. Panzer, but I think normal Panzergrens could do it twice by the looks of it. So if I get a Panzergrenadier squad to do it. Looking for anything useful. Quickly now. My men have completed their order. And can I even do it with just a standard, uh, what well, even like, the cheapest vehicle I could get? Maybe a little motorcycle. My men have completed their orders. Take a so you picked, the, so he picked up a breader this time. Stripping the vehicle down. It does appear that the weapon you get depends on the vehicle you get. Because right now it's been Axis weapons from Axis vehicles. So orders. there's another breader. Yeah, double breader. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah, allied, yeah, allied vehicles. You get allied weapons, Axis vehicles. So would I get a Panzer Shrek? If I hang on, let me try that as well. Hang on. Um, or would I just get another AT rifle? It sounds like I just get another AT rifle. Okay, so they have two AT rifles on them here. I imagine they're gonna, when they do this, they're going to get a third one. But it's probably gonna be worth it for them to get. A you want to if they get an AT rifle, not bazooka, then yeah, it's not worth it for them. Would be proud, yeah, 380 rifles. Okay, so that's confirmed it, I'm pretty sure. So, Axis weapons from Axis vehicles, allied weapons from allied vehicles. And then you, my friend, I want the Opal Blitz trucks. The two-pun truck can actually now convert into a medical conversion, so we can tow it right now. Even if it's decrewed like that, yeah? Like so. We convert it to the medical... Oh, man, it looks like we can now retow with the medical truck as well, which is great. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure this wasn't... This was a bug, or this, this should be intended where you could have towed with the medical truck, but now you can tow with the medical truck on the flat on the flat here, which is nice, so that's good. And uh, so there's no reason why you wouldn't want to really upgrade this to the medical variant as well, because that's just good. And it didn't seem to be too expensive as well, did it? I'll just spawn another one of those in real quick. It was uh, only 50 munitions as well, so that's pretty good. Test out the uh, this ability, this ability, ability and that ability available. so far. Right, so we'll go with the sector subterfuge beacon. So let's say it's an enemy point. And then I had my cheeky pioneers manage to somehow get all the way over here. Orders, I could build the subterfuge beacon now, huh? right in the corner Where over here. Gloves on. Get and then it. that's point being siphoned. So it's saying that's being siphoned. So I would need to take my, my motorcycle and I would need to go hunt around for it, right? This is this should be the new detection unit, right? So there it is, found it. Utility vehicle taking fire. So yeah, it clearly says the point's being siphoned. And then it's back. See, okay, this is... I'm not, I don't like the fact that there's... It's so obvious that it's being siphoned. Because it's supposed to be a sneaky thing. And when, and when you know, there's a clearly message saying, oh, your point's being... You know, resources have gone down. It's, it's, it, and if a message keeps pop, um, pop, uh, popping up like that, then that'll, you know, easily make the player realise, oh, they need to check the whole point for the stuff. You're not going to notice in the heart of combat. Maybe not. I don't feel like it should say point being siphoned. You should maybe maybe see the, the fuel change from plus five to plus one, and then that might be like, oh shit, I might be, you know, I'm losing a bit of resources. Um, but I also feel like you should be looking down maybe at your fuel count here and then just seeing, you know, the fact that the fuel points don't add up to how much you should be getting. I don't feel like, a, you know, a message that keeps popping up like that point being siphoned is a good, uh, you know, I think it's too much. Too much of a, of a giveaway that, you know, it's there. Do you get more stuff siphoned if you put a cash on it? That's a good question, actually. Yeah, cash that point. Point. We're getting seven fuel. If I just delete this real quick. So naturally, even without any fuel points, we always get a plus three fuel. Uh, but let's say we put a beacon over here. That goes up to plus seven. It's now being siphoned. Let's now put a enemy resource cash on here. Like so. It's gone up from plus one to plus two, but my fuel hasn't gone up at all. So I'm not actually gaining any more resources 
based on whether there's a cache on that point or not. And just to test this again, here we have a munitions point. This munitions point is currently generating me a plus seven. This is a high munitions point. I should say a medium munitions point, it's a plus 10 point. So then let me uh, add a cache on it. So again, see it's plus seven, cache goes on, goes at plus four for my opponent, but still plus seven there. So there we go. That proves that any cache goes on a point. You do not benefit from extra resources um, if you do uh, siphon those points with these sector subterfuge beacons. You also can't put a second sector subterfuge beacon in one that already has one. As you can see here, can't put one in here or the neighboring region because that already has been siphoned. But in any other point here like this, we can build it. And uh, the point itself, it says it is siphons 67% of resources from the territory and also slows the capture and decapture rate of enemy squads in that sector as well. Which uh, means that you'll be able to siphon those points for longer if the point, if the sector beacon does not um, get destroyed. Which is pretty sweet. You have problems, we have answers. So this ability here allows, uh, so resource caches upgraded to transfer depots that allow for the trade of fuel or munitions for manpower. Conversion rates are improved when placed on higher value resource points. Panzer Grenadiers can also build them. Interesting. Sorry. So if I then put on this to here, my income and per income currently is 262. Protecting our assets. So converts 25 fuel to 100 manpower. And it's cached the point up to actually generate more as well you in general. Problems. We have answers. And then if I did the munitions point, does it matter the, how high the munitions point is? Panzer Pioneer standing by. I'll do that. Protecting our assets. 50 munitions to 125 manpower. What about a low one? Let's find a low one real quick. Uh -huh. 50. What do you need? 50. So it seems to be exactly the same amount. Regardless. 50 munitions to 100 manpower. 50 munitions. Wait, no. It's different. It is different. That's 50 to 100. That's 50 to 125. So it does matter. So the higher the resource point, the better conversion rate you get. So that's a, what about the fuel? Is a high fuel? Where is there a high fuel on this map? Protecting our assets. So 25 fuel to 125 manpower. Okay. So definitely you'd want to be doing it on your high points rather than your low points. But it's still quite nice. If you've got an excess of fuel, which you'll, especially in the late stages of the game, guys, um, you know, when you're needing the manpower to, to reinforce and stuff, and maybe your population capped, um, you know, and you don't need, you got any uses for fuel, then yeah, this is actually a really nice thing. And you're still generating a high amount of resources on these points like you normally would from a cache, but this is a quite a nice little feature. Um, let me just see if I turn off uh, ability recharge and construction real quick. If I, and then might be my resources, uh, player, uh, reset, 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 reset. Then I do it. Okay, so it's a three-minute cooldown, roughly. Is it a shared cooldown? Oh, it is. It's a shared cooldown. You're right. It's a shared cooldown. So you can't do it on multiple points to just suddenly get a huge amount of income. But I guess over a course of a game, you know, there's quite a considerable amount of different resources. Ability has been made available. So this ability here, create a temporary disruption zone that gradually reduces the vision and accuracy of all enemy units that last 60 seconds. While active, friendly units will no longer appear on the enemy mini map to the enemy. Accuracy and vision are reduced by 5% uh, every 1.5 seconds uh, to a maximum to 60%. Shit. And that is a pretty big area. So if you're fighting, like, dropping this light right on the last VP or during, during a match could be crazy and stuff. All right, we'll test that out in a second, but I just want to see um, how Operation Scorpion goes. So I'm going to spawn, let's say I'm a British guy, and I'm going to spawn in, I don't know, some... All right, and then I'm going to ask R2 to, don't shoot, but come up as close as you can with a tiger, and to my guys without revealing yourself, and I just want to see if we can hear it. I guess if, we'll, if, if he goes through, like... So I, we get, we can hear something. Right on the victory point. But there it is, right there. Fucking hell. <laughs> that's, that's fucking, that's so crazy, man. <laughs> Dude. So literally, there's no tire tracks, nothing. Alright, so he's got his army over there. If you want to, if I turn Fog of War off, 
And then you drop that ability, disrupt operation field on me. And let's just see how it how it goes. You need vision. Well then throw something close to it. Oh, get the trap! Okay. I see those guys coming in. But the thing is, like, when I activated this ability, as a, 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 I can only actually really experience, you know, how s s small my guys actually have, you know, in terms of vision. But that's the lowest amount of vision I've got. But yeah, you could really, you know, if you gave it a little bit longer, I wonder how many seconds that is until the full. I guess it, yeah, you'll see when, when the eyes on the units go all fully shut, that's when you know exactly how much you can oh, see. He's he's gone. And then when the ability ends, does it just immediately go, I imagine? Yeah, and then it's back to normal as soon as the end of the ability. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the special ones. Okay, well, do, let's do the tiger tank then now. Well, we'll wait for that. Let's see if we can see the Tiger Tank crush this stuff. I imagine we will see this terrain get destroyed through the fog of war. And I want to see if I can, if I see it going crushing the the, uh, the war, and if I attack ground, will that reveal it early? There it is. It's right there. So I did hit it, and that did reveal it. I think. But it seemed a bit weird that it just, like, it crumpled the wall without much, much debris there. Try and run over the, um, the trees over here. See a bit of terrain on it for some reason. Six pounder anti tank gun ready. Grab the other side, we're moving. Shift in position. Wall's over there, lads. Split the trails. AT gun getting into position. Not super accurate though, is it? It's weird, we see only a little bit of the tiger. Okay, ended. Fair enough. Let's just go over to the left hand side and can you drop the ability on um, the disrupt op op uh, operation ability over here? And just to say, I want to see if uh, my, all my vehicles get hit by it, even the dingo. Here we go. So to just avoid this though, I would just need to move my vehicle that's in the zone out to here, and then he'll regain. Yeah, he'll get he'll get his normal vision radius back, right? We're moving out, chums. I moved them over here. As long as I'm out, if I'm out of it, boom, I get my vision back. Same amount of vision. I'm not still reduced though. Oh, but it's a it take it's not immediately that I get my vision reduced again. I have to stay in this area for a short amount of time. As you can see, I'm slowly getting my vision reduced as the longer I stay here. But it's not an immediate thing. So I go out, bang, got my full vision back, go back in, and it starts to start shrinking. But as long as I keep one of my like like a dingo in the you know outside, I, I still get the full vision of the dingo in the affected area as well. As long as he's at, you know outside it, that's kind of cool. Any, it looks like any kind of unit that's trapped in that zone will, will be affected by that. But uh, I think as an ability, it's kind of neat and new, new, uh, nice. This ability might be nasty on flanks trying to kill RT. Oh, yeah. Dropping that down and then waiting for a minute or two and then running in around the back could be quite quite nasty. But, um, you know, also mines against this ability would be quite good because the players would think, oh, I can easily get some cheeky flanks off thanks to this ability, but then they might run into mines that they thought they, you know, could, could get away with going around or whatever. You know, on a flank route, but you do need vision to use that ability, but you don't need much. I mean, if you, if you you've you know you've got always got a vision on on a point, right? So if I have this point here, waiting on you, got orders. Right, and my opponent was coming over to cap it. I just drop it here, right? I could drop it on the, you know I've got the vision around this point, so I could drop it there. Now let me try this real quick. Let's see if I could drop a flare. Would a I don't want to hear if I drop a flare in the sky, will this just reveal it straight away? Oh, you might have gotten too close then. I'm not sure. Or does the dingo reveal it? 
Burn those blisters, you shit! That's the ability. So I can actually see how long that ability lasts on his tank for. But it's been... Yeah, it's not... He's not going back invisible. Well, go invis. Oh, no, you did go back invisible. Stop, stay still. Don't move. Don't move, please. I'll fly another flare off. Okay, so flares do reveal it. We have a new ability. So this is 110. Burn the target area with incendiary shells that deal no additional explosion damage. When the ta target area is burned, infantry unit structures and placements will slowly take damage over time and be easy to hit. Infantry are slower than the area. Flames last for 45 seconds. Right, I would like to test this against 17 pounder. Okay, there we go. Right, and then... Okay, here comes the firestorm. That's it, that's really lackluster. Is that it? Burn the target area with incendiary shells that deal no additional explosion damage. When the target area is burnt, infantry units destruction and in place will slowly take damage over time and be easy to hit. Infantry is slowed in the area, flames last for 45 seconds. Wow. For 110 missions. I mean, it looks cool. And it hurts my FPS a bit, but. I guess in conjunction with like other stuff it might be work. So when I did these um recon tractors against these structures earlier I guess a seventeen pounder, two barrage one barrage each with the observer locked on was enough to kill it. But let's try now with the incendiary on it. All batteries, drums, commands barrage! Got those taxes Yeah, to be honest, isn't it really? It slows enemies by forty sec uh, by forty percent, which is pretty good. I imagine like trying to if you try to retreat uh, an army away and you dropped it on the retreat pub or something that might give you the extra time you need to get in there and wipe the squads potentially. And if they're easy to hit as well, then yeah, it'll also be a good Artillery thing. So maybe it feels like this was. This, this ability, though, his intention was to try and counter Sim City kind of thing, but it doesn't seem to be that great. Um, and I feel like this is easy to hit. Like this, these, this ability, the off mort Mortbridge, will pretty much all of the shots will actually land and hit hit the target, right? Whereas, like a Nebel worth a strike probably might miss and, and, and spread a bit wide. But I feel like it's more of a case of units try, like manually shooting it. So if I got like an anti-tank gun... Here. And I try to shoot this uh, thing. That's the one weakness, I guess, against emplacements because they can't do very well against like any tank guns. Like you know, if it was a normal seventeen pounder, it wouldn't take any damage from from a uh, from a pack thirty eight. We have vehicles available in reserve. I'm not missing any shot here. What if I put an incendiary rounds here on it? Ability unlocked and available. Will that do a bit of extra damage? Doesn't look like it. Anti fire so yeah, it does the bit of extra damage to the archer here. So yeah, pack gun, three shots it. Looks of it, it's pretty good. Pretty decent damage on a bow force, actually. I got a four shot it. Stuka damage? Cease. Cease. Yeah, we could try a quick Stuka real quick to see how that goes. Okay. Not much 
at all, really. Then if I did this... Wait, that's the ability. The firestorm, and then did it. I feel like it does just about the same amount of damage, to be honest. Yeah, I think, yeah, LEIG is the way to go. Or maybe, you know, getting up your own anti-tank gun and starting hitting it. Tractors are not, you know, if you get two tractors with the observation uh, uh, overwatch down, they'll be decent as well to put in a bit of extra damage. But I feel like, yeah, maybe one tractor combined with the LEIG would be good. And then if anyone's got an off-map barrage. But, I mean, it is a big investment to go for a 17-pounder, right? So... Right, I think we'll leave that that like that then guys I think we've pretty I'm happy to say that we've tested as much as I So guys that's the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did and want more content check up over here and over here and if you want to subscribe to the channel make sure to click the button down here. Catch you in the next video guys. Take care and I'll see you soon.